Welcome to the Digital Moneta channel. Today we are going to be taking a look at the configure pool feature offered by the Crypto Hopper trading bot. We are actually going to deploy one of these pools today after doing some back testing on a few of our coins. We have realized we are leaving some profits on the table and taking bigger losses than we should be. The first coin we're going to take a look at is LRC. We constantly do back testing uh, to see how these coins perform within our strategies. And we recently noticed that we're leaving some money on the table when trading L LRC, in addition to our losses could actually be reduced by simply changing our strategy. So if we load our existing configuration, you can see that our stop loss percentage is 249% with a trailing stop loss of 0.25% once armed at 249%. So what that basically means is if the coin price goes down a negative 2.49% will be stopped out and take a 2.49 or more loss depending on how fast that coin's moving down. The arm trailing stop loss at 2.49% basically indicates that once the coin has moved up in the positive direction of 2.49%, it will initial a sell as soon as that coin pulls back 2.5%. So as long as this keeps moving up, it'll follow it up to 3, 4, 5%. But the moment it comes back a quarter of a percent, it will initiate a sell. The 2.49% trailing stop loss and 2.49% stop loss gave us a one-to-one -one ratio we are always working on our risk to reward ratio and improving that and we're actually trying to get it to a two to one and that's what we have actually noticed with lrc is we can actually achieve that so let's go ahead and run the back test on lrc with our current configuration and we see we get a profit of 1.41 percent based on three wins and one loss and if we look down here we can see our win percentages and our loss of 2.69 percent now if we adjust this to our new figures that we've been having success with we will see that we're able to reduce our stop loss, the percentage that we would lose if it moves against us, while increasing our profit and gaining a two to one risk reward ratio. So we'll go ahead and run this back test. And now we can see we jump from a 141 to a 366. So we more than double our profit. We still are three wins, one loss, but we can see our profits are greater and our loss was actually reduced to 2% versus like 2.69%. So we lost less and gained more. So LRC is one example. Our next example will be BAT. BAT week after week is a profitable coin for us and has been for a long time. Uh, we don't just trade BAT in the bots. We actually do some day trading with it. We're very familiar with its chart movements. Knowing that, we started applying the new 2 to 1 configuration to this. And our bot was actually leaving money on the table with our current configuration. So if we run this with our existing configuration on the BAT token... Go ahead and start the back test, and we can see not bad two and a half, almost two and a half percent with a three to one win ratio. And again, our one loss, two and a half percent, right about at our 2.49 percent setting with some decent wins. Now, if we change this over to the new configuration, we will be setting up for this pool of coins that is outperforming our current configuration we will see that we increase that to a just over three percent so we gain 
half a percent profit. And if you could increase your profit by half a percent on every trade you made, I don't think you would be upset with those results. And so again, we see what the three to one number and the loss percentage is less. The profits are a little bit more and therefore that's our half percent. Now let's take a look at ARN will have a, a different type of setup. We'll go ahead and load our existing configuration, run this, the back test, and we see that it was a negative 2.8% loser with a 2 to 2 ratio. And we can see over here that the losses were far exceeding actually that 2.49% stop. That's how fast this coin would fall. And then our gains were right in line with the 2.49% for the most part. Now, if we change this to the new configuration we will be going for, we will see this one actually sets up a little different, but still in our favor. And we'll start the back test. And so we go from a 28, 2.8% loser to a 2.17% loser, still on the losing side for the week, but it's a one to three. So we actually had less wins. It was two for two on the old configuration and more losses. We're at a one to three ratio, but because of that adjustment, we had a bigger win and our losses were actually smaller, even though we had an extra loss in there, but that bigger win. And that's actually with your risk to reward, you want bigger wins, smaller losses. And that is the key. If you're hitting a two to one risk reward ratio, you only have to be right 33% of the time to break even. That's what we're actually starting to shoot for with our hoppers and our day trading is a two to one ratio. So that's what this sets up. And we see it already affected, this, would all have already affected this on the positive side. So that's another example of why this configuration it, we're going to apply. Now it doesn't apply to all of our coins. It doesn't work with all of them. And that is why we need to set up a pool. So if we take a look at GTO, for example, will not be within that pool since the performance would actually be detrimental to how GTO has been performing under our current configuration. So under our current configuration, if we run the back test for GTO, we will see that it for the week would have produced a 3% profit on a four to two win loss ratio. And we can see our wins and our losses in here. And if we change this to the two to one ratio, we're looking at for some of our other coins, we will see that it does not perform as well. And therefore we will not be including it in the pool that we're gonna configure here in a moment. And so there you see, we go from over 3% to 1.5%. And instead of 4 to 2, we get a 50-50 chop. Um, so we would not want to add GTO to our newest pool that we're going to configure. And then one more example we'll show you that fits our pool is going to be nulls. Nulls, if we load our existing configuration and run the back test on it we can see for the week it would have been a loser on a two to four basis and with the new configuration it will actually turn it into a winner and anytime you can turn your losers into winners you got to be happy and so we'll run the back test and it ran it from a negative 0.27 to almost a positive 2%. That's almost a 2% swing. And lo and behold, we're still a 2 to 4 on this coin. So we didn't actually improve our win positions. We just reduced our loss amounts 
and substantially increased our win amounts. So that is really the point of, again, bigger wins, smaller losses. So for those of you who don't have stop losses, you're probably leaving a lot of money on the table. Go ahead, cut your loss, and just make bigger wins in the long run will be more profitable. And that is how your successful day traders actually make money, is they cut their losers fast and they ride their winners for max results. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to configure a pool. So we go over to the configuration tab over here, configure pools. And once you land on the configure pool page, you'll want to click the add configure pool tab. And now within the new config pool, we need to set up our basic settings. We'll name it 409 after the name of the percentage we're going after. We'll move our coins over that we have done our back testing on. And now that we have the coins added, we'll jump down to buy settings. We're not actually going to change anything in our buy settings. Strategy, uh, we use an advanced TA settings based on our strategy enable rsi and bollinger bands the rsi settings are seven period 20 for the oversold and 90 for the overbought threshold rsi is required to trigger a buy our bollinger bands we run a 20 two and a half and two and a half on the uh, bands we go with the sma moving average and again Bollinger Bands will be required and then under trailing stop buy our trailing stop buy percentage is 2.5 percent that'll allow the price point to continue down if it is moving down before we get in and it won't get in until we see some positive retracement up of 2.5 percent our sell settings we don't actually need to change anything there our sell strategy, we actually do not deploy as we're using stop losses. Our stop loss setting was the 2.49%. We're going to change that to 1.99%. And then our trailing stop loss was 2.5%, uh, which we're changing to 4.9%. And we will change the arm trailing stop loss from 2.49% to the 4.09%. And then with that, we don't do auto close or dollar cost averaging. So we're good to go and save our pool. Now we have our pool saved and enabled. We could always go back and edit it or delete it if we so chose. And so now the coins we've added to this pool will behave according to the new configuration and their performance was proven through back testing to perform better under this new strategy and so we'll probably be adding quite a few more coins so check back in the future to some of the different strategies but that is a quick video on how to configure pools within your crypto hopper automated trading bot so i think we'll go ahead and wrap this video up and if you like the video spike us a like and if you haven't already please subscribe that way you'll be able to see all future videos and feel free to leave a comment we do try to respond to everybody's comments and until next time lock in those profits and we'll see you in the next video